Hello Trinity Ganyatis, my name is Will Berger and I recently just went on a trip to Turkey, Greece and Jordan uh, to help out with the refugee crisis and sort of get a little bit of a taste of what's going on over there. Um, so the first day we went to Istanbul, uh, which is a beautiful city. Um, met a lot of nice people. Uh, and I'd say that was probably the best part about the experience, meeting the people. You get a first-hand experience of uh, the actual local issues and versus what you see on the news. And it was probably issues and versus what you see on the news. And it was probably, you know, the greatest sort of intel that we got. Um, we talked to people about, you know, the different conflicting political interests there. Uh, like the Kurdish, the Kurdish have their views of what, what they believe is you know, appropriate, and then we went to, we met a lot of people who sold drugs, um, and that was the main source of income for a lot of the locals there, is, you know, trying to sell rugs to locals, uh, and it was sad because they were trying so hard, you know, and all through Istanbul, Turkey's going through a hard time right now, and they're not making a lot of uh, income, tourism is down 60%, they said, uh, their boats were empty, uh, the restaurants were empty, Waitresses and waitresses are just left empty-handed trying to find jobs, trying to get people to come to their local places, which are very, <laughs> just great, cultural, authentic food. Um, but there's just no one to eat there, no one to fulfill the empty chairs. So it was really shocking and you kind of, you know, your heart goes out to these people. Um, and throughout, you know, talking to some people at a local shish kebab place, they, uh, we talked to them about, you know, Syrian crisis and refugees because Turkey's border Syria and we learned that Turkey's doing, you know, a tremendous amount by housing Syrians and the Syrians have kind of blended in with the people there. Um, so that was, you know, and one of our waiters was from Syria. So, you know, we got to talk to him a little about his experience and it was just as eye opening, you know, the people making these huge tracks across the country just to find a basic um, you know, basic lifestyle that they can't, they can't find at home. And there's a lot of people that, the places in Turkey, Greece, and Jordan are uh, relatively close to their home. Um, and a lot of them want to go back home. They don't want to go anywhere else, um, but they can't. There's nothing to go back home to. And that was the greatest shock of it all. We learned that they're just, there's rubble. There's it's a war zone. You keep, there's nothing to, you're gonna get shot if you go back. You might. There's just tremendous amount of pain, anguish in these areas, and it's just heartbreaking.